As I stood in the living room, clad in a French-made costume, I couldn't help but feel a wave of anxiety wash over me. But, Mom, I can't wear this to the party. A French maid. All of my friends will think I'm a fag or something. I protested, my voice quivering with uncertainty. My mother, with a reassuring smile, placed her hands on my shoulders. Nonsense, Alex. They'll just think you're wearing a silly Halloween costume, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. I sighed, still feeling self-conscious in the skimpiest dress I'd ever worn. But I feel so stupid dressed like this. My mother leaned in closer, her voice softening. This is your big chance, honey bunny, to dress like a pretty girl and get away with it. You'll get a lot of laughs from your friends, and Jennifer will be very impressed. Dad. I stammered in panic. I can't let him see me like this. He'll kill me. My mother chuckled. Nobody is going to kill anybody, trust me. I'll take care of your father. That part will be easy. I couldn't help but worry about what my friends would think. But, my friends. Honey, you're not thinking, my mother said, a mischievous glint in her eyes. This is your big chance to dress up, and Jennifer will love it. Where do you think I got that dress? It certainly isn't mine. Confused, I raised an eyebrow. Jennifer, she'll like seeing me dressed like this. How do you know that? My mother winked at me. Silly boy, trust me. It's all part of the plan. With her support and a newfound sense of confidence, I began to realize that this unexpected costume might turn out to be a lot more fun than I had originally thought. With my mother's encouragement ringing in my ears, I took a deep breath and decided to embrace this unique opportunity. After all, it was just a costume, and it seemed like Jennifer would appreciate the effort. As we arrived at the Halloween party, Jennifer, dressed as a sultry feminine devil in a tight red one-piece overall and horns in her hair, instantly became the star of the event. Her confidence and charisma shone, drawing the attention of everyone in the room. She exuded an air of devilish allure, and it was clear that she was reveling in the spotlight. By contrast, I was her dutiful French maid, following her around with a feather duster in hand, adding to the whimsy of her devilish character. At first, I was a bit self-conscious, but as the night went on, I started to relax and enjoy the role I had taken on. Jennifer and I made quite the pair, turning heads and receiving compliments from the other partygoers. As the evening progressed, Jennifer and I danced, laughed, and posed for pictures together. I couldn't help but notice how much fun everyone was having, and my initial worries about my costume choice slowly faded away. To my surprise, Jennifer not only accepted my unconventional costume but also seemed to relish having her French maid by her side. Our dynamic created an entertaining and unforgettable night, and we both reveled in the unexpected joy of Halloween. As I swept the floor with my feather duster, I couldn't help but think that sometimes, the most unexpected experiences can lead to the best memories.